have a yellow one. No, it's another one. It's only two colors, blue and yellow. <laughs> Prove to me. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not even going to be in this. I can't remember. <laughs> 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 What you guys think about dating the guy that have three kids, go. three different baby mamas? Well, I dated Dylan with three kids and two different baby mamas. How was that? The dating? Yes. Um. Hmm. <laughs> it was challenging. You have baby mama drama. Yes, yes there is baby mama drama. There is baby mama drama until they start, you know, getting older. Then, you know, that kind of phases out. But if there is no type of attachment or anything between both yeah. or four parties, whatever it is for you, <laughs> um, then it won't be so much. But if the kids are, like, young, when the kids need, like, a lot of attention and stuff from both parents, then you might have a lot of drama. Okay, so this is what I faced one night. Um, the girl text, it was like 10 minutes before she was coming. She was like, I don't know why I'll be there in 10 minutes. I was like, yo, I'm about to go. And he was like, you don't have to leave. She's not coming inside. And I was like, okay. And one part of me wanted to trust him. Trust him. The other part wanted me to like get up and leave. Mm -hmm. But I trust him. She didn't come in. He took the baby stuff outside and he left. My thing is, <clears throat> if that was me on the other hand, I would want to meet my child. Well, or whoever he's dated, I would yeah, want to be. significant other. Even if or, not significant yeah. other, just who is baby gonna be around? Be around. Exactly. Right. Who is your um, baby gonna be around? But some females, they are a little cuckoo, and they ain't mature enough. A little. A lot of them <laughs> lot. for you to meet them. That's so. not. That's a lot of females because. Yeah. Um, I felt like that. You want to meet? Them? <laughs> I, I wanted to meet them because <laughs> I'm gonna be around their kids, but they, they didn't want to meet you oh until later God. on, really. That's and sad. I still don't think one of them really wanted to meet me anyway. But um, the sad. other one met me eventually and talked to me now and all that. But in the beginning, I was the one who wanted to meet. But I think it's because there were still feelings there. I, got something I feel like there's always gonna be feelings because you had a baby with someone and it's more it's stronger it's more powerful than marriage and no no offense to anybody but when you create you procreate with someone else that is like but what about when you procreate with somebody bonded. that you were never to, with yeah. Oh well. yeah, and that's the problem. <laughs> like yeah, like yeah, yeah, you you just accident. messing around. You just messing around. Like messing around with these girls and one pop up pregnant. And that's oh, what oh, happened. Yeah. And that's what happened with this last no. kid. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened with the last kid. Um, they were yeah. just messing around, and she's pregnant. They never been together. She don't even know when his birthday. Yeah. Well, and she had a kid by him. So that one night stand kind of thing. But so it wasn't a one night stand. It wasn't that a one night stand. They were like always they were constantly mm -hmm. banging, but you know, yeah. it was nothing to come out of that. But a baby, like no relationship, no feelings. Nothing. nothing. I still feel like there's something when you, like I said, when you procreate, even if you don't want there to be some kind of feelings, I feel like there will be, just because you had the baby. Like I know you what you're saying mm -hmm. but I think just because you're having a baby and it's probably her first baby right mm -hmm. so she probably had feelings yeah no she, she didn't know and same thing with his as a woman you need to know those binaries like yeah, okay she, you need course. to know like but not everybody's mature no that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying oh. is you need to know if you're gonna be just having sex with a, pop, a guy then you're gonna be having unprotected sex and y'all having baby reproduce it then y'all you need to know where the relationship stand I mean, most people go out yeah. in here and have sex with people yeah. and they're like oh we're just having a good time and not knowing it's consequences and things can happen yeah. out of this I mean, and then be looking that, stupid in the end yeah I think anytime you have unprotected sex you try to have a baby that's just my opinion that's exactly how I think that's my opinion you know the Okay, well that's why you have a birth she could be on birth control. I don't care about that, but I'm saying like birth control fails so much that if you have unprotected sex, you you are putting yourself at risk to have a baby. And if you're putting yourself at risk, you know you try to have There's one. A chance, yeah. Anytime. Like but that, some, well, in, in this situation, happen. in this situation, the girl lied about being on birth control. Well, oh. he should have let that thing up because ain't oh. nobody about to go wrong up in, in this and they ain't got to take care of no, no child. Like I don't think taking care of a child is an issue. The issue is what she Because once the child... Attention? Uh, yeah, she want to be with him. He don't want to be with her. And they were just only having sex. 
and then they have a baby. Yeah, out that's of what it. I'm saying. Like she must have some kind of feelings for yeah. him after having his first, you know, her first child. Maybe not his first child. But you have to talk about first. it. You have to but talk you about it. Like maybe Let me she didn't something. think. Maybe she didn't think she was gonna. She get was thinking. When you have unprotected uh, sex with a person, chemicals connect, right? Yeah. All right, and your feelings start to evolve, meaning you guys start getting more intimate with each other. You start getting feelings, yeah. caring about a person. Yeah, she probably had feelings for her. Of course she did. She had a baby. <laughs> she knew what she was doing. <laughs> And then she told, you know, that's yeah. that's neither here or there in that situation. So but bad. my pregnancy was planned, you know. It was made out of love. He wanted to be the father. He wanted to be a dad. He wanted to be in my child's life. You were with him. We was together. Yeah. And we yeah. knew what we was doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to handle no baby by somebody. If somebody tell me to get an abortion, that means they don't want to have a kid. No. I'm yeah. having an abortion. I cannot have a baby by someone who don't want it. I'm sorry. I cannot live my life or bring my child into you know, it's I'm not going to have situation. abortion. I, I'm just saying it until I get in this situation because a child has to be here. Those are mistakes that I made and I have to deal with it. And I think that's what she doing. I guess mm-hmm. I have abortion. It's just going to be something hard. I just would try to plan to not put myself in that kind of situation right. because you bring a child into this world and it's not planned. And y'all just having fun. He said, you know, yeah, baby, they got Yeah, his, where his head is at. I agree with you too. Like, I mean, whether I would have an abortion or not, it doesn't matter. But I agree with you. Bringing a child into that situation is horrible. Like, he doesn't want to be the father. So that's horrible. Like, but he, like, he don't get he no credit either because, because he said he'll want to have sex with somebody. Unprotected. It's, his pro- it's his problem too. It's just as well as his. his I don't know. I just think that both parties <laughs> should have something to find. If a guy doing that. If a guy having sex with someone unprotected, he wants oh, a yeah, child just as well as she do. But it's as a female, happen. we got to start on the for our responsibility. Absolutely. Yes, and so is he. He's 50-50. I, I, but you can't, be like, you can't be like... 50-50. You knew you was having sex with her unprotected, whether you knew she was on birth control or not. Yeah. You knew what you were doing, putting your penis in there. And y'all remember, like, when so I had my little I, I know how I feel. It's still 50-50. <laughs> whether she was telling you in your ear, yeah, I'm yeah. on birth control, that's okay. And people that shouldn't lie about stuff like that. But you how many things you need to do not lied about? I'm just, just being real. Have protection. But he trusted her enough. enough. He trusted her enough. He trusted her enough to not be in a relationship. Hold up. He has yes, yes. Hold up. <laughs> But I don't want to be with you, but I trust you enough and to I'm a, do with that. Right. I'm just having no. fun. I'm just having fun. <laughs> no, no, no. Not you have, you're my fun girl. Oh, good. 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 No, no. No, he, that's you what I'm saying. Oh, 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 She's on birth control, but he's still. You know, people have right. relationships like they have like I committed just, relationship just just by having sex. Like yeah. ne- nothing, no, now no feelings, nothing more, nothing less. But you should still wear protection well, because you say, are not in that person's life, life like that. That's how so. I feel. If you're not in that person's life like that, where you know situations and you know them personally, you should have. You should definitely. And I'm, Wear protection. I'm not saying I'm perfect and I've always done it, but that's from yeah, experience. Yeah. Like experience tells me, if you don't want to get to know me personally, yeah, then no. I don't trust you like that with my lady parts, and he shouldn't trust her like that with his what thing either. I mean, she could have easily been having sex with someone. Yeah, it's I mean, like probably was. Yeah, they yeah, both yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's true. not like they owe each other. Oh, <laughs> oh god! I'm I'm no. still, like for 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 me, I had a pregnancy scare, and the only thing I was scared of, I wasn't scared of having a baby, but I was scared of the fact that the person that I was with, we had already talked about kids, and that wasn't something that person wanted right now, and that wasn't something I wanted right now. 
but but <laughs> but we both are adults and we knew exactly what was going on and we both were like well if it is it is if it's not it's not and once you get that feeling of security from the other person that's involved i think it makes it a lot easier for you to deal with the situation but if you have somebody just can't believe I'm gonna blame you for the whole reason. It's really not. It was both of us. Yeah. And we both decided to handle it like adults and we did not have to thank God there was nothing really to handle, but I was about to die that night. I don't know what time it was I called. I was like, Congratulations. <laughs> oh my God. Was like, oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> God be with you. I'm praying, you know, for a healthy baby. I've already been in a relationship for like a year and a half, but we have not met each other's children yet. And I have no interest in meeting his baby mama, and he has no interest in meeting DJ's dad, and I have no interest whatsoever in meeting a girlfriend. Like, to me, it doesn't matter the fact that it, whether I like her or not, she is a part of his dad's life, and he she will be around my child. So there's nothing that I'm really going to be able to do about that. So to me, it's it, it's an added stress that I'm going to bring on myself if I go in there meet, trying to meet someone that I really don't have to meet because it doesn't matter if I meet them or not. Like it doesn't, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. I mean, do y'all agree? Or? I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> okay, let me tell you why I disagree. Because <laughs> I have a three-year-old son, right? And my son is very loving, caring, and protective of his mother. And whoever he's around, he's the same as well. You know, but of course, he's gonna be his mother. The more, his mother has that most of that love. I want to know who's going to be around my child. I want to see what that person, how that person character is. Kids pick up off what people do. And if yeah. that person cuss or doing things around my kid, then I can know where it's coming from. I can see how she's raised or how she's brung up, the way she's taught. Then she bring around my three, y'all. I need to know that's how it's there is a problem. I got it. But I'm talking about right Even now. Even if there is there, no problem. I mean, well, but to me, there is no, I don't get it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if I meet her or not. He's pushing, oh, you need to meet her, you need to meet her. I'm like, yo, this, just because this is the longest girl out of all the women you've been with, this is the longest one you had a relationship with of all, what, six or seven months. I'm not about, I don't, I don't care. Like, I, it's too late. If you wanted me to meet her, you should have let me meet her before you brought DJ around her. Right now, I'm damaging her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree yeah. there. Oh, like, yeah. For what? Are you so, involved with this? A little bit? They are. They don't really involve because I don't know if she was one of the chicks that uh, had anything to do with my stuff missing or being in my bed or anything like that. Okay, so I understand why. I understand why she would not want to meet that person. No. When I went home last year, 2015, my son was at his dad's house. His dad was being a single father while I was serving this great nation or whatever, and I just popped up. I didn't tell him I was coming. And I just came to Virginia, and I was like, okay, I'm going to just go over here, knock on the door. Why? Hopefully he opened. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, I knocked on the door. He didn't come. I knocked again. He was like, who is it? I was like, your worst nightmare. <laughs> I it was so funny. I said, my worst nightmare. <laughs> he opened the door, and when I came in the house, I said, where's my baby? <clears throat> I want to see him. It's like 11.30 at night, you know. I was being very child. Of course, yes, I was in my feelings. Because this guy told me that he wanted to be with me, which he lied. Because some other chick was in his house. Oops. He said that was his friend. She was married, and she was sleeping on the couch. So I go in the house, and I go, and my son's laying in the bed, in his dad's bed. And I'm like, yo, why is he in your bed and not his bed? Oh, and I looked at the girl. I was like, was you in the bed with them? She was like, no, I was sleeping on the couch. I was like, oh, he was on the couch. I said, so where were you? He was like, I was in the bed with Jermaine. I was like, oh, okay. I touch his penis, his penis rock hard. I look at her and I was like, uh, y'all together? She was like, no, but you can ask him. He's just my friend. I was like, oh, those are your shoes at the door? And she was like, yeah. Um, She's like, well, I'll see you later. I'm about to go. I was like, oh, well, my name is yeah. Erica. Nice. To, what's your name? Q? Oh, nice to meet you, Q. Have a good day. I ran her away, but he told me that they were just friends and, you know, I don't think I asked for my child father to tell me when he's starting to date someone. You know what I'm saying? Who are you going to have around my child? The whole time in the air, I said, he said, no one was around my kid. You know, I ain't trying to be with nobody. I said, just let me meet him. I just want to meet him. I was being very respectful when I spoke to the girl. I said, hey, how you doing? I introduced myself. I'm Jerron's mother. Okay, so the next day, come, it was just pounding on me because I'm like, okay, she been around my kid. Obviously, my kid know this girl now, and mm -hmm. obviously, he would start telling me stuff about her. And I was oh. like, okay, I want to meet her. You know, so I called her. I was like, hey, how you doing? This is Erica, Jerron's mother. Thank you, her number. My child father told my, I told my child father I want to meet her. Yeah. He called her. Yeah. He called. 
<laughs> bitch got smart. Why did she do that? She was like, whatever you want to know about me, you can ask him. I was like, oh, as a woman, Whoa. I was calling to ask you because obviously he had so much um, pride and faith in you that you would be a woman just like I am and just have this civilized conversation and say, hey, well, my name is such and such and yes, I've been around your son. Your son's very smart and he does this. He likes to do this. No, she had the nerve to say, well, if you was here around your fucking son being a mother, then I wouldn't have to be here. I said, ooh, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did you take it there? I don't know. She was in her feelings when people like like I, that's why I asked Kim was she in her feelings. The bitch was in her feelings and I was I like I said you two dollar ass bitch you. Let me tell you one thing. He bought me Nike Joy Airmates. You got these pale ass slippers on, baby. You needed to get you some shoes and in your hair. I said don't come for me unless I say for you. Yes, I did, girl. I said how don't come for me. My thing is, no, I was being respectful. Not being, yeah, you don't know nothing about me. I said, I, I, I was like, and I know he didn't tell you none of this stuff, but you know that I'm not around because you always here. But thank you for playing stepmom while I was here. Mm. <laughs> you did a horrible ass job. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>